This DePaul Study Abroad online orientation module is focused on planning that needs to happen before you travel to help ensure a healthy and safe study abroad experience. Before traveling abroad, you'll need a passport. If you don't have a passport yet, apply for one as early as possible. The Study Abroad office will need a copy well before you depart as they confirm your program details. If you already have a passport, check the expiration date. It's important that your passport is valid for at least six months after the end of your travel. Check the U.S. Department of State website for the specific passport requirements for the country you're visiting. Some travelers abroad may need a visa, which is permission from a country to enter. The government of the country you're traveling to will decide who needs a visa, and it will depend on your country of citizenship the country that issued your passport, how long you'll be visiting, and the purpose of your visit. You can check the website for the embassy or consulate of the country you will be visiting to learn whether or not you will need a visa. Please note that visa requirements may be different for U.S. and non-U.S. citizens. If you do need a visa, you'll need to complete a visa application through the embassy or consulate of that country. There are many different types of visas. The reason for your visit and length of time you will be in the country determine the type of visa you need. DePaul students on short-term programs require tourist visas, while those on term-long programs typically need a visa for study purposes and or a residence permit. Your study abroad contact will let you know if you need a visa, and if so, what type. If you need a visa, it's your responsibility to obtain it in time for your program. Prior to traveling abroad, make copies of any important documents, including your passport, credit cards, travel information, or anything else significant. Hopefully there will be no need for these copies, but if anything gets lost or stolen, having backup copies will make replacing them much easier. Keep a photo of them on your phone or have a paper copy stored somewhere separate from the originals. The U.S. Department of State has created the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program, known as STEP, to help U.S. citizens traveling abroad in case of emergency. If you're a U.S. citizen, the Paul Study Abroad requires that you register your travel through the STEP website. This lets the local embassy know who is in the country so you can receive information and alerts and to make it easier to locate you in an emergency. If you are not a U.S. citizen, look for a similar type of program and register your travel with your country of citizenship. Before you travel abroad, Take time to research your destination. Read books or articles, watch movies or documentaries. There are tons of online resources, from blogs written by students who have studied abroad to websites like Lonely Planet and Diversity Abroad. Connect with anyone you know who has experience in that country, people from DePaul or one of the many organizations in Chicago or your community related to your destination. Learn as much as you can about the cultural norms in the place you'll be visiting. How do people relate to each other? What are some common greetings, words, and phrases you can learn to better communicate? Are there specific gestures it's important to avoid? What are any important local customs? What type of clothing is appropriate to wear? In some cultures, this is extremely important and can have a big impact on how well you adapt to and participate in the culture. The more you can learn, the better prepared you'll be. Also make sure you research any important health or safety concerns in your program location. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, website has country-specific health information, including recommended vaccinations to consider and up-to-date health travel notices. The U.S. Department of State has multiple websites with a vast amount of country and region-specific health and safety advice, and start following the news in the location you'll be traveling to especially using local news sources you can access online. Regardless of your personal health insurance, all DePaul students studying abroad are automatically enrolled in international health insurance, travel assistance, and evacuation coverage through CISA. You are covered for the dates of the program abroad, and you will typically receive your enrollment email a few weeks prior to your travel. Once DePaul has enrolled you, create your MyCISI participant account, log in, and print out a copy of your insurance card. You can access a wide variety of resource information, including a search function to find medical providers in your international destination. CISI can also work with you before you leave with questions about the availability of specific medications abroad. Inform your study abroad contact if you need help connecting to CISI to develop a plan for maintaining your health and well-being while abroad. 
If you are planning to extend your travel, you can also contact CISI to purchase additional coverage. The most important people to speak to about health issues before traveling abroad are your doctor, counselor, or appropriate medical professional. While doing your own research about health abroad is a great way to prepare, only a qualified medical professional should give you specific advice about medicines, vaccinations, or other health-related issues. Also, please connect with any DePaul offices who might need to know about any health concerns you have or changes to your health situation before you travel. This could include offices such as Study Abroad, the Center for Students with Disabilities, or University Counseling and Psychological Services, who are all there to support you as you prepare for your time abroad. If you will be taking medication while abroad, there are some important tips you need to know. First. Pack any medication in your carry-on luggage so it's with you at all times. If you have a checked bag that gets lost, then you will be without your medication. Also, be sure that any medications are in their original labeled packaging. When going through customs and immigration, medications that aren't properly labeled, even over-the-counter drugs, can cause problems. If you are bringing a prescription, make sure to have a copy of it back home. Many prescriptions go by different names abroad, and occasionally some may not be legal in the country you are visiting. Contact CISI via email or phone, and they can review your prescription, let you know its name in the place you're visiting, and tell you if there are any legal issues related to the drug. It's also extremely important to bring enough of any required prescriptions with you. Certain prescriptions, including those such as EpiPens, may not be available in other countries. So be sure to have your doctor prescribe everything you need and bring the full amount with you when you travel. If you are not able to obtain a prescription for the full length of your program, CISI can work with your medical provider to develop a plan. Lastly, have a conversation with Study Abroad and any other relevant DePaul offices about any allergies, physical limitations, mental health concerns, or other potential health issues. A health information questionnaire is required for all students studying abroad, and this is an important place to include any information you'd like to share. The more you disclose, the better Study Abroad will be able to support you as you prepare to study abroad and during your time on the program. The Center for Students with Disabilities can assist students who need accommodations or other services relating to documented disabilities. University Counseling and Psychological Services can make sure anyone with mental health concerns has the systems in place for proper counseling and support. The Office of Health Promotion and Wellness has a variety of educational and support materials for healthy living. And the Dean of Students Office can help identify resources and services, helping you navigate all that DePaul has to offer. Now, please continue on to take a short quiz about this section on health and safety before you travel.